Okay, what's up guys? So I know I haven't reacted to an uh, Honest trailer in a while. And uh, yeah, it's just, I don't know, like some of the movies that they were uploading, I just haven't seen them yet. And usually if I'm going to do one of these Honest trailers, I would like to see the movie first and things. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's like, it's kind of like, you know, because they do this after the movie comes out. So it's like they say things that are in the movie, because I remember I did that before. To a movie I didn't watch and I yeah spoiled the movie kind of for myself and things so I uh, I don't do that I don't do that I only I only do like honest trailers to movies that I've seen already so anyways this is Finding Dory I seen this I think I see when did I see this movie I remember I seen it after work one day but um yeah I watched it a while back so uh, I thought it was good you know but I think the original Finding Nemo would always be be the best out of them all but it was just good to you know see a sequel of the movie and things and to you know have something have something to live on now so i'm actually um waiting for the incredibles uh part two that that was the movie i mean finding nemo was good but the, the incredibles i i yeah definitely gonna be <laughs> that big little kid or just uh, in the movie theaters, just watching. I don't know, but it's like if they, because I, I feel like Finding Dory. It was, you know, I mean, it was good, but it just wasn't as good as the first one. So, uh, hopefully, The Incredibles Part Two. Uh, hopefully, it's you know, it's good in things. I mean, the uh, first one will always be good, but I feel like that it's just like with Finding Dory, they could have had a little bit more to add to the movie and things. So, uh, yeah, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that, uh, part two of The Incredibles will be good. But anyways, let's get into this trailer. Make sure you go subscribe to Screen Junkies for more videos like this one. It got 5.8 million subscribers. Let's see what goes down. Everybody wanted that. From the studio that promised not to make sequels just to make sequels, comes a sequel <laughs> that was made for one very clear reason. Printing money. Finding Dory. Mm -hmm. Hollywood's got a fever, and not even Pixar is immune. So if you love secondary comic relief characters getting their own movies, get ready, because <laughs> Disney's going to make you choke on them. <laughs> you remember Dory, right? Yep. She's back in a story that answers all the questions you never really had about her. Like... Who wrote the Just Keep Swimming song? Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. It was like, with me, I was like, okay, it's just, I thought it was just a song that was a part of her memory, but I'm pretty sure somebody answered that question during, like, you know, Finding Nemo and things, like, who thought of that song if she keeps forgetting stuff, how does she remember something like that and things, so... I don't know, like me, I didn't think of it as a kid. I just watched the movie and laughed at the funny parts of the movie and stuff, so... Anyways. Swimming, swimming, swimming. How did Dory learn to speak whale? You know me? Of course! We'd talk through the pipes when we were little! We were pipe pals! And how does your short-term memory loss work? Because forgetting your parents exist isn't exactly a short-term memory. It's more of an excuse to create a sequel- Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> this kid's movie that takes a clear-eyed look at mental disabilities. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I forget again? And how funny it is! That is <laughs> eating a cup! But Dory isn't the only fish in the sea. Your favorites are all back, and they're not sure why they're here either. <laughs> no! You've got Russian Travis! Joining them is a whole school's worth of wacky new creatures to help Dory on her journey, and conduct a marketing test to see who should get their own spin-off. Like Hank, <laughs> the escape artist that was clearly created after an octopus escapes video went viral. A whale oh, shark wow. whose character is bumps into things. I this guy <laughs> that makes annoying noises to make your kids laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and Sigourney Weaver. Come on. I thought when she, uh, when I seen that part when she was, cause I thought she was actually gonna be in the movie. She just did like some little voice thing for the, uh, from the. She wasn't. Even, I don't think she re yeah, She didn't even have a character. And so I was like, yeah. When she was in the movie, I'm like, she went from making aliens to doing this. Like I heard. Uh, speaking of the aliens, I heard that they're coming out with another one, but I don't know if she's gonna be in there. But yeah, I'm like, what? Why is she? Why is she in there? Like that's just that's Disney's money, though. They can hire anybody on the spot. So yeah, I was like, when Sigourney Weaver, when she was in there, I was just all like, that's all right, I guess. Like I mean, they could have hired anybody for that role, but Sigourney um, Weaver, she's just all like, I, all I'm just doing is just pretending to be one of those like people over the intercoms talking to everybody at the 
little fish place, but it was, yeah, it was weird. All unite in an action-packed finale where a bunch of fish stage a jailbreak from a rehab center where an octopus hijacks a truck and drives it back to the ocean somehow. It's bright and loud. Your kids are going to love it. This part of seems like so long ago now. <laughs> so just keep swimming. I thought that part of the movie was funny when they um took the car. I thought that was a funny part it's of the movie. It's unnecessary sequel that's all about memory, yet still completely forgettable. As Pixar rolls out its cold calculating formula for one thin heart one more time, featuring an adorable little baby voice protagonist. Hi, I'm Dory. A grizzled but lovable jerk. <laughs> Another story about getting separated from your loved ones. I lost my family. Can you help me? Strategically placed cute stuff. The old your parents are dead fake out. Dory. Oh, yeah. They're gone. And a touching ending where Dory discovers that she was never truly forgotten because her parents kept hope alive and left her favorite shells behind as a guide to lead her back home. Where she was loved. <laughs> Have you big star? Even your B material makes me cry. Starring Dora the Ignora, Farley Hank, coming summer 2022. Yeah, Annoyed that that I could probably that would probably happen. I feel like that they could make another one of things. I mean, it's like honestly, it's just it's it's possible. It's possible that they they can make another one. It'll probably be Finding Nemo Part Two or the Finding the Dad Hank. Or was it, was it, no, that was the octopus name. I, what was the dad's, I don't know, but finding him, it, anybody can be lost Playing next, on. so. Emo, Black Emo. Fish, <laughs> Professor X, Jumping the Shark, Becky <laughs> with a good stare, Conveniently placed water. <laughs> yeah, there is a lot. <laughs> and wow. Reverse Anakin. I'd like sand. <laughs> I don't like sand. It's coarse, and rough, and irritating, and it gets everywhere. Finding money. Dang. You thought this was bad? Just wait until they announce the Bing Bong prequel. Oh yeah, uh, we're calling it. But how? He proved that love conquers all. What a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> they call you the boy who lived because the most interesting thing about you is that you are technically alive. Oh, uh, this is like the... I've seen this. I've seen uh, this. Yeah, it's right there on the side. But I was looking for this video because I think that I heard somebody was saying that they made this an honest trailer of this. They had... um made like a roast of Harry Potter so I'm, I'm assuming that's what this is. If he his sons. Do you remember when you looked into my mind? Decades of me wanking it to your mum. You know what, what the difference is between me and you Severus? One of us knows what it's like to slide out of Lily Potter's p Wow. Screen Junkies presents the roast of Harry Potter. I haven't seen all the Harry Potters. Plus. I think I've seen like the... Watch now. <laughs> Hey, Screen Junkies, click the box on the left to watch the roast of Harry Potter. If you register now with Facebook, you can watch five Screen Junkies Plus videos for free. Or click the box on the right and watch our honest trailer for Finding Nemo. Now, it's time for me to find some comments. Michael <laughs> Bay is... Yeah, I was, uh, I don't think I've seen, I, I can't remember if I've seen the Finding Nemo honest trailer, but, um... Yeah, this this video was pretty good. I thought Finding Dory was good, but you know, Disney, look, that's just another way of them making money is by making their movies and stuff, whether it's old sequels or some shorts within the movie or the movie itself. Like, yeah, it's just, it's Disney making money and things. So you just got to look at it that side. Disney's still making money and still be charging people $100,000 to get inside their park. Like, on, honestly, going into Disneyland was pretty, it's like a pretty expensive thing, so. It's just, yeah, Disney's making their money, and so on. Like, the place that I'm partnered with, the uh, network that I'm partnered with, they're owned by Disney and stuff. So I'm like, wow. So Disney, they're <laughs> left and right making money and stuff, whether it's their movies, their park, networks, anything, alright? So, they can, like, honestly come out with a little YouTube channel, be coming out with, like, cartoon shorts or something on here like they can money left and right i mean they have the people they um they're paying the people to do it and it's like they're not complaining about anything they're getting a fat check at the end of the day so 
Finding Dory, yeah, when they when they came, when there was people talking about it, I think a lot of people was just all like, you know, it's saying the same old, same old, Disney's just trying to make more money. But at the same time, you had people like me that was like, okay, Finding Nemo wasn't a bad movie. I actually like that movie. That'll always be a movie I will um, watch up until when I have kids and stuff. And Finding Dory, yeah, when I heard that was coming out, I'm like, oh, I definitely gotta go see that and stuff. So I'm like, that's just that inner kid inside of me that's like, all right, I gotta go, I gotta go see the movies I grew up on and things, because it was like Finding Dory, or Finding, not Finding Dory, Finding Nemo. When I like seen that for the first time, was cracking up laughing throughout the whole movie and things. And it was like that with a lot of uh, Disney movies that I seen growing up. So. Uh, yeah, this was, you know, some of the stuff that they said in here was pretty true things like the the pl a perfectly placed water and stuff like every time a fish was falling from something there was always some water there. So it was like uh, it, it's Disney. It's a it's a G rated movie or PG rated movie. I don't know, but it's like it's you ain't gonna kill a fish in a movie like no that's like the rated r version of finding nemo so yeah that's like you gotta have that in the movie and things so uh yeah i can't wait to see more i don't know i need to see some more movies before i see some any more on the show because there's some of the movies that they have up on here i haven't even seen yet so uh yeah i'm gonna probably uh check some of these movies out there's one on the show that they have of Zootopia, and they have that on Netflix. I'm thinking about watching that one of these days, just so I can see what Screen Junkies is gonna say about them. But anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure you go subscribe to the Screen Junkies. Like I said in the beginning of the video, they got 5.8 million subscribers. And that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you are new, and peace.